Hello, I'm Nick. Today I will show you how to build a simple React web app in just a few minutes using Cursor AI. It will be fun. I will use Next.js framework to create the web app. Next.js is built on top of the React and it also handles routing, rendering and interaction with the backend. First, let's create a new directory called Hotel Dashboard. I am building a dashboard with business metrics and KPIs for a hotel chain. Now we can jump to the Cursor AI. Open this newly created directory. Let's show the bottom panel with the terminal window. And the first thing I do is check Node.js version. Next.js requires Node.js to run. And the minimal required version for the Node.js right now is 18. So I will type Node V to check the current version. Since I have the version 22 installed on my machine, I can create a Next.js project. I will use command line command to do that. Next.js will ask me to name the project. Let's name it Hotel Dash. Next.js uses a wizard to create a new project. In my case, I will go with the default settings suggested by the wizard. Once I finish it, Next.js will start creating a new project for me. The file that I'm interested in is called page.tsx and it's located in the source directory. No syntax errors so far. Now let's test our project. To do that, I will need to open a new directory that Next.js created for me that contains actual files. Navigate to the hotel dash and type npm run dev. The project was built successfully. This is a URL that you can open to see the project's homepage. Once I open it in my browser, I can see this page. And the most important thing here is this path. It tells me where the source code of the page is located. It's the same file we viewed before. Knowing that, we can start interacting with the AI Assistant in the right side panel. You can already see that I've added home page to the context. It happened the moment I opened the page. Now I need to do a few things to make the most of my interaction with the AI Assistant. First, click on the tag icon and select Docs. Here you can see all Docs indexed by Cursor AI. For this project, I want to add Next.js. As you probably guessed, it's a Next.js official documentation. It's already indexed for me because I've created a few Next.js projects. So I will choose it from the list. But if it would be the first time, I would choose the option Add a new doc. Second, we need to add a cursor rules. Rules that the AI Assistant will follow when writing code. To do that, I navigate to Settings and Rules tab. Scroll down to ensure that Include Cursor Rules file is enabled. Now we can create the actual file with the rules for our project. I will create a file in the home directory of the project. Open Cursor Rules file and now is a question. What should I type here? I have two options. Either describe what rules I think the AI Assistant should follow based on my experience or use existing description created by the dev community. I will go with the second option. Let's open the browser and navigate to the Cursor directory website. This is a website with the Cursor rules crafted by the dev community. In the search field, type Next.js and click on the second option from the list. As you can see, rules are instructions written in a natural language that explain what AI should or shouldn't do when generating code. If you like the instructions, you can copy them and paste in a cursor rules file. Save the file. Now we are ready to prompt the AI assistant. I think that the most important part of the process is writing initial prompt. The key thing to remember when writing a prompt is to clearly explain what you want to build. In my case, I provide a description of six charts that I want to see, along with details for each individual chart. I also mentioned that I wanted to see these charts on a page TSX. This prevents Cursor AI from creating a new project or adding unnecessary files in existing project. Let's copy this prompt and paste it into the AI window. Click Send. Cursor AI starts to analyze our prompt and the project it's working with. 
it suggests adding dependencies for the project. And as you can see, the Cursor AI suggests changing the package JSON, the file that lists project dependencies. After that, it starts to generate code for the actual charts. This code is intended for the page TSX, home page of our project, and the file we've mentioned in the prompt. At this point, Cursor AI didn't introduce any changes, but provided suggestions for the code changes that are highlighted with a different color, pale yellow. And now it invites us to install actual dependencies, new libraries to this project. It provides a shortcut command for us. By clicking this button, we will introduce changes to the package JSON and add the new libraries to our project. Let's run the command. And after we did it, we now see error messages. But don't worry, we can quickly fix this problem. Just wait for the final output of the changes from the cursor. Click Accept All to accept all changes that cursor suggests to introduce. We have a moment to review the suggestions again, one by one, so we can navigate back to the top of the output and see changes cursor suggested. You can accept changes one by one by clicking on this icon. At this point, my assumption is Next.js didn't install dependencies properly. And cursor actually suggested the next step. Try to install the dependencies and even provide a command for that. Let's run the command. Looks like the dependencies were installed properly now. And here is the additional information that Cursor provides for us so we can understand what exactly it did. Now we can run the project to see if it's working. The project is running now, and we can visit the URL to see the page. But at the same time, I see that the page TSX is colored in red. It means that there are syntax errors in this file. Looks like we have objects that are declared but not used. Let's navigate to the browser to see what's going on. And here we can see error message. Line is not registered element. Line is a line chart that we are going to show. Let's copy this message and navigate back to the cursor. Type fix and paste this error message. And since we have other undeclared objects such as bar, donut, we can add and other errors. Cursor starts to analyze the code and suggest changes. Let's accept all suggestions. Good news, we no longer have syntax errors in the page TSX file. Let's ask Cursor to run the project. It provides us a shortcut command for that. Run command and navigate to the provided URL. Looks good now. There are even some elements of interactivity available for the charts. But overall, the look and feel of the charts is very average. UI that cursor generated looks a bit ugly. Let's fix it. Navigate back to the cursor and ask AI to make UI beautiful. Cursor AI once again starts to redo the page TSX file. Great news that we don't have syntax errors. Let's run the project. Next.js refreshed the page and now it looks much better. The interactivity also works well. We have nice on-mouse hover effects. We did a good job creating a fully functional page that will be very valuable for the hotel business owners. That's all for now. Please share your experience creating web apps with the Cursor AI in the comments. Thank you.